No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what's poppin' again, y'all? As usual, you know, I got a very important person in the house. Got my man sitting to the next, to the side of me, man, to the right of me. Um, of course, he had to come down here and not only rebut, but um, we're gonna talk about it just briefly. And uh, then we're gonna do a quick prediction, and then we're gonna let y'all go. First things first, tell him who he is, man. Steve not like they don't know. Guns up is the logo cartel, whole body gang, y'all already know. My man. So, you is body gang, body gang. How long you been body gang? Um, about a month now. Yeah, I was kind of figured that. Who was you before body gang? Just cartel? Yeah, just guns, cartel. Oh, Always okay. Always be guns first, you know, cartel, you know. Then it just made more, it just made sense, kind of how I was. Because that's who I rock with anyway, like outside of battle rap and shit, like, I be with them niggas. Like, right, I really right. I don't even, besides my niggas, like, I be around them niggas and more so around them lately you know what i'm saying for sure so yeah it was just like yeah mine as well strength and numbers anyway and then for sure so you saying you picked a side <laughs> yeah it was when i did it though it wasn't even size to pick really yet it was right, just right. more of a i think by me picking that by me you know what i'm saying joining the body gang it did kind of make it a pick a side thing because at first it was like it was a few you know motherfuckers that was independent right and it was hot and all that and then when i joined body gang it's like damn okay so we got hoodlum gang and body gang like who else really hot out there so right i kind of like yeah closed the door for just like motherfuckers just independently just battling and not you know what i'm saying really with nobody so it's right yeah, it's kind of getting tighter in the room. Okay, okay. I think that's a good decision, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with that. But, um, I mean, I, I mean, just real quick, you know, I already talked about Hoodlum Game and how they, Hoodlum Gang and how they a stacked team. Yeah. Um, I see you stacking the Body Gang team, huh? Oh, yeah. Man. I think that'd be, that'd be a, that'd be a yeah, dope, that's... dope battle, man. Hoodlum Gang versus Body Gang again. And I think so, too. Like, all the way, like, all the members, like, they ain't got half as many members, but, they best, you know, I think there's five of them, so are they best five versus our best five? And, man, and look, crazy. you got you got viral beasts up in that in that situation, though, man. I mean, yeah. having having J. Lopez, you know, people like J. Lopez, Hoodlum, and LL Coogee, man, all in the same in the same gumbo pot, man. That's that's yeah. a lot of meat, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> and it's, they all different niggas. Right, man. right. They don't come the same. And then you know what, man, and then, you know, like Cherry's on top. We talking like Mike G., you know what I'm saying? Not Zilla. You know what I'm talking about? Them some cold dudes. You know what I'm saying? Zilla, so Zilla actually one of my favorite like up and comers too, right? You now. know what, man? And I, I honestly, man, it is I gotta do something for him, man, because he, he he did have like a hair razor, man, on the back of the neck, man, with that Agent J and Agent K. That oh, that yeah. was <laughs> that was stupid, man. And yeah. you know what, man, I, I I I did slip that man on the top ten, but you know, I still think the top ten is valid. So yeah. You know what, man? Let's get on here to the point, man. Down to business here. Uh, you and Kamanzi, man. First off, you got two battles that night. Yeah, Kamanzi and Nice. Who was Nice? Um, some nice nigga from Indiana. <laughs> some nice he, nigga he got, from Indiana. He got some battles though. Like I don't even mean nice. Like he nice with rapping. Like he just, a, you know, like he got manners and shit. But <laughs> he done battled a few names. Like I think he battled like Mr. Mills and what. Then he uh, he just he got he just got slaughtered by Mr. Mills. Then he in battle like Showstopper, um, Honey Shot Frenchy. Um, he in battle some people. Hmm. You know what I'm okay. Saying? So, but people was, like Mr. Mills, I feel that you know it's it's probably a privilege to say you got slaughtered by him because you got in front of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that dude is a monster too. I ain't letting Mr. Mills slaughter me. That's no. that's them <laughs> niggas. <laughs> and you got a battle coming up with him or something? No. Are you trying but, to set one up? It, it might be in the works right now. I'm kind of, I got a, a kind of specific list, and he kind of would go nice on there. Okay. Like okay. I've been, I, it's going to be some names being called out this year, though. Like. Okay. And then whoever along the way. What I'm going to pretty much do is I'm going to take on these big names. I'm going to do some investing this year. And then whoever it makes sense to battle in between or after that, you know what I'm saying, I'll battle them too, but. Then we got the body gang, um, gang wars car coming up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We all clashing against each other. Oh got, yeah. Yeah, I got a I got a nice name. As y'all know, I already battled Killer B two, three times. Right, shit, so. right. So what yeah. what's the what's the record on that? 
Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm going to keep it real from my perspective. The first one, I give it to me slightly, but that one can be debated. The second one, I clearly won. So, What about the third one? That was a tag one, so that that oh, okay. wasn't really like a one-on-one, but a lot of people gave that the body game. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, check this out, man. You got, you got, you got some. You got my man's my OG partner, man, King Kamanzi, man. You gonna be in the ring with him this Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he done already talked his man. Talk yours, man. This, <laughs> I'm gonna just say this. I said the same thing before I battle Rich. Shout out to Rich Porter Body Gang. You my know man. What I'm but it's levels to this shit. I understand, you know what I'm saying? You a focused person and all that kind of shit. And you, I respect your craft because you battle only for money. And also respect your pen. Like, you kind of nice with it. It's just, it's still levels to this shit right now. And a, a one thing a lot of people who know me, you know what I'm saying, say about our battle is, that's how you started off rapping, like, you always like I always had a nice pen. My pen always been nice. It was just I had to figure out how to make my pen relevant. Like as opposed to just making every word rhyme all the way from beginning to end and then this nigga come with some half rhyme and shit and he can win and shit. Like I had to figure out how to make the shit appealing to where it's like, okay, I can rap. I'm showing y'all I can out rap anybody, but this is about battling. This is a battle rap. This is about who getting attacked more, Who, what the subject at hand is, and all that shit. And who can address the crowd, who can perform, who can swing bars, who got wordplay, who can, like, everything. Like Say that. And, like, it's pretty, it's not too much that I can't do no more. Like, freestyle and all that shit and whatever. Like, so it's just, like, it's definitely finna be some levels to this shit. But I'm, I ain't take them light at all. And... I basically wrote for him like everybody who cool with him or around him helped him. So it's like, <laughs> even if y'all didn't help him, I just put him at them standards and it's just like, it's just going to be a clash. And then it's for 500 too. Woo. I ain't going to come in and lose no $500. Like, Jeez, I'd, be, I'd be damned. Like, That's a handsome ransom. Yeah. Like, it, even if I did happen to lose, like, it ain't nothing that I cry over or no shit. But I can't see me losing this worth shit. Yeah, like, that's a- that's some that's some bill money right there. You can yeah. pay a couple bills with that. Yeah, I plan on partying with this five hundred. <laughs> put my five back in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? So that's my that's the plans. You know, do what some post I mean? post Valentine Day uh uh kicking it or whatever. Definitely, I'm gonna party <laughs> with that nigga money. Okay, all right. Well, he said something about you know what he was gonna do with the money also. So I guess both of y'all got the plan. So I guess both of y'all gonna, gonna come. Do? With, huh? What he say? He was oh, you do? didn't. You didn't. You didn't. I probably ain't hear that part. Oh, uh, okay. You well, you know, it, it, it was it was it was. St- <laughs> <laughs> okay man you know what hey he, he said he said he said definitely that he, uh 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 he gonna take your money we gonna we gonna leave it at that he gonna he gonna definitely take your money he said he gonna walk away with the win so i mean honestly uh you you pretty much answered the question that i the next question that i have for you like what do you think you need man to actually bring this home and you pretty much just let it be known that you and, know what i'm saying and then even if it was like it's it's kind of like I don't even need all I'm bringing. But I know this is a touchy subject, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas battling for money. And motherfuckers, if it ain't a for sure, for sure clear winner, then there's going to be some favoritism played in the, at hand or who like who more as a person and shit. So I'm making it to where whether y'all like I don't care if his son judging, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's going to be clear as day. Like, that's how I had, that's how I got to do so it. So it's going to be a clear body. He said, he said one round body, like he said, versus King Ace Bull. I'm going to say it like this. It's going to, I ain't saying like, because I ain't going to underestimate him, but as far as, I'm saying this is going to be a one round. Y'all going to say a clear 1-0. It might not be a, it's going to be a bag, but I don't think he going to, like, just die, die. You know what I'm saying? Right. But with the shit I got, if he come with anything that he's came with before, like, if he don't come like he came for um the white boy or whatever, the warrants, if he don't come with an angle like that that's strong and carry the room, he definitely going to clearly lose. Like, mm. he might, it's potential of body because it's like haymaker on top of haymaker, like, all okay. the way through, like, it. You know, I'm a I tell jokes and shit. I got like right. I got like two jokes in the whole round. So oh, so this, you just coming? Yeah. You just coming super rough then? Yeah. No, you ain't, you ain't playing no games. None. I need that money. 
Okay, man, speaking of angles, he said that you was going to come with uh, those personals that he was talking about, like with Africa Bambada and situations like that. Uh, what do you say about that? Or, or are you going to speak on that? That was another tactic by me, the example. Basically, knowing him is a rookie, you know what I'm saying? Just separating the two of us. It was like a lot of people before I did that was like, I don't know, man. He might beat you and woo woo woo. So I showed y'all I have the ability to get under his skin before we even get into the ring. Ooh. And that's what that was all about. So I was like, no, I got personal. They're like, on who? Kamazi? I'm like, yep. Ooh, ooh. Like, I ain't say what or nothing. And he made five, six posts that same day. And this was in the evening I, I said this shit. So he did that all in the evening. Then the day after, inboxing me paragraphs. I was like, yeah, I'm under his skin. Oh. And when you do that... Motherfucker get to doubting they self and changing up their bars and trying to add shit so they cover everything in case you say some shit. And to be honest, it ain't, he don't even know what he got in store for him. Like, nothing I've said is giving away nothing that I got planned for him at all. So, oh, okay. with him thinking whatever he thinking, like that child molester shit and all that, I can say that. And actually, that's probably just going to be some shit I freestyle at the end because that is relevant that he was, you know what I'm saying, in the in the area of child molesters and repping their brand and doing all that kind of shit. So that might come into play at the end or whatever, just if I want to embarrass them a little more. But <laughs> I got enough. I got more than enough. Well, just know that you're not standing up against, you know what I'm saying, the likes of any type of low-tier type person. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. is in there with a formidable opponent. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He, he do have bars, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. like I said, he going to have to come King Gates Bull uh, uh, worthy. He can't come, he gotta come kid class Kamanzi. Huh? He gotta come better than that. Yeah, this gonna pretty much have to be the best battle of his life. Like, when I battle anybody, when I'm taking the play with who I'm battling, I always watch a few battles and the, whatever a motherfucker recommend, like, okay, that's the one you should watch or he got off and that's the one I set my standards on. I don't watch all your battles and blah, oh, he choked in this battle. I'm gonna write off it based off this. I'm writing off of your best battle anyway. Hmm. But then with a lot of people, what I had to do is, once I got to a certain level, I had to step back. I'm going to watch you and see what your capabilities are, but then I need to not focus on you too much while I write your bars unless it's some personal shit because y'all got the ability to bring my skill level down. Hmm. And it's like for me to be better than I was last time and shit, I can't go off of you. I got to go off of me, so... I watch this best battle, and then I watch my last few battles. And that's what I focus on, my last few battles. What can I do to get them same reactions but double time? And what can I do to top this? And so I just I try to top myself now. Like, I look at your capabilities, but then I try to top myself. Okay. Well, this is what we're going to do, man. First things first, we're going to start our prediction off like this here, man. You versus King Kamanzi. Quick prediction. Clear one out my way. <laughs> Now you got two battles, yeah, and we already spoke on that. Yeah, so yeah. your 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 prediction on you and Nice then? That's gonna be a clear one on my way also, and it ain't even more so like with Nice. I thought I was gonna have to take him lightly because I'm taking the money battle so serious. You know what I'm saying? So right. I got Kamanzi out the way first before I even start writing for this nigga. Okay. So then when I start writing for him, it was flowing. It was just flowing. So it was like, damn, should I put some of this on Kamanzi <laughs> shit? And, like so, it's like neither one can escape what I got for him, and then I got a I got a real good angle for Nice. So, and I watched him also, and I'm more worried about the Kamanzi battle. So he really okay. ain't got nothing coming. Well, you got your work cut out for you on that one, man. Marv One, I don't know who that is. Marv One versus GE. I got GE. Period, man. GE one of my faves. That boy know how to talk to you. Yeah. So what you think? Um. I'm going to honestly say it depends on how serious Marv One take it. If Marv One take it serious, I got it 2-1 either way, but I edge it to Marv One. Okay. Rich Porter, my little homie, my young homie, man. Rich Porter versus Quest McCody. I don't know who that is. Um, I, I got Rich Porter either way it go. My money on Rich Porter, period. What you think? Um, Have you seen Quest McCody get down before? Okay. Uh, so yeah. what you thinking? Um. I mean, do you um, think they're I in the same wish, class? It, it, I'm put it like this. I just wish, you know what I'm saying, we was, like, I wish Rich Porter was closer to, you know what I'm saying, Milwaukee to where we could be more hands-on. and Because I really haven't heard him, and I, I'm body gang, you know what I'm saying? So right. I don't know who's sparred with him or what he got or nothing like that. So I can't really say, like, 
judging off not hearing either one of their stuff though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even as Rich being Body Gang, I had to go with um, Quest Two One, but it depends on how Rich step it up. Like if Rich make an improvement from our battle and mm-hmm. take some things from there and utilize them, and he just on ten all the way, he can he can possibly take it. But Quest a different nigga. Okay. If you get I'm a chance, to watch Quest yeah. vs. Daylight. He battled Daylight. Man, he Quest a Quest. Quest up there. And Rich Porter, okay. Rich Quest Porter. up there with Marv One. Like, them niggas got a, you ever, it's a Detroit movie called 5K1. Uh, Marv One and um, Quest in that movie. Oh, but okay. They got a nice little movie out and all kind of shit. Damn, like, so that, that, this, this card, this card. Marv uh, One was on in 8 Mile, you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. Oh, this card a whole buck then. Yeah. Okay, check this out, man. My young homie Illa, man, versus Matt Tisdale. I have no idea who Matt Tisdale is. So Ella. I'm going with Ella. 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 Okay, man. Uh, Slick versus Slick G versus T Steezy. I got Steezy. I don't know who Slick G is. Is that is? Yeah, Slick G. If it's three rounds, two one Steezy. Mm. And th- this here, this right here, man. This here is a uh, this is a controversial one right here. This is what I, I this one I really um, want to see. I seen Slick versus YP. And I really haven't seen him much since then, so... How you do? It, he, he was pretty decent back then, but it depends. That was years ago, like four year, three, four years ago. So it's oh, like, okay. if he elevated like a lot of niggas have elevated since then, it could be a good battle, but I guess easy. And I want to see this one, man. P. Jesus versus Mecha Milo. Mecha Milo, you ain't been in the ring in a whole... In a, man, you ain't, I, ain't seen you, I ain't seen you get out in a whole in a long time, man. Years. So, I mean, and then you battling P. Jesus, who just really took a couple battles, and I'm talking about cooked in a few of them, so... What you think, man? I got P. Jesus. That's a hit or miss battle right there. Yeah, it is. And, it, and it's all on them. It's all on them who win. It ain't even on your opponent, but neither one of y'all. Like, with with Mecca, I know he gonna more so try not to focus on the person who's just gonna be at hand. And he probably gonna, you know what I'm saying, try to bar his life away. So it's all <laughs> it all depends on the quality of your bars, how that hit or miss with the crowd, and then with P. Jesus. We know what P. Jesus do. Like P. Jesus get personal. He come with all that shit. He and he can he can get up. Like he can go just, with you. Just don't choke. Just don't choke, fam. And you yeah. might be all right. Yeah. So it's all it's all about them. Like whoever, right. whoever more so conquered a skill level the best on that battle. I go with. Okay. See hit versus Trim Forte or Forty. See hit. See hit. Oh, that battle Trim a long time ago. He Did you hear? He ain't got nothing for uh, see hit. And see hit. See hit is. Man, see, hit beastie too, though. Yeah, he. That's what I'm saying. But with Trim, it's like more of a he gonna he gonna sit in there and jab, and then he gonna uh, and then he gonna get a, ah, and then he gonna swing for thirty more seconds, uh, and then he gonna get a, yeah. ah, and then he gonna one so, of those Mayweather yeah, fights where it's with not see hit really. though. See hit gonna try to punch you like every foe at least. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, that's see so, hit. I like see hit. Yeah, see, I I underestimated him for a while. Right. Basically, probably because he was pin gang back in the, a while ago and all that, and I really wasn't on it. I'm like that. All I knew was Chris Kane back then, and Chris okay. Kane was on the decline at the time when C hitting him came out. So it was right. like, I don't know what they really got going here. I okay. never really, and then I kind of like went to jail for a few months and shit around they uprising time and all this shit. And then when I got out, I was more so hustling and battling for another year. So like. I was kind of off the scene for like a year and a half almost. Like, I was just, I had just fell back. Okay. All right, man. Um, Dolce Goldstein versus Fresh. I don't know who Fresh is. I do know who Dolce Goldstein is. I heard of Fresh before. Dolce, Dolce Goldstein, he, he, he's a kitchen cooker, though. I never watched him. You never watched Dolce Get Out? Never. You never watched Dolce Goldstein. All right, I got Dolce Goldstein on that between him and Fresh. Um, last battle was kind of like that P. Jesus Mecamalo battle, man. Rico versus Subway. Rico, I mean, honestly, man, you got some serious, serious making up to do, fam. I don't know who this Subway character is, man, but you definitely got some making yeah. up to do. I, I ain't never seen Subway. I never heard of Subway. And the thing about Rico, Rico pretty nice. He just he can can't be. remember his shit, really. <laughs> and then, like... Yeah, Choking so, whole rounds ain't a good look. Right, so if he if he make a step up from that, because he... But, like, a, 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 again, you know what I'm saying? I ain't heard him. Nobody said they ain't heard him spar or nothing like that. And I ain't right. heard nothing good about it yet. So, it's like, 
It's all depending on how he take it, but I roll with Rico on this one. Okay. All right. And you know what? I got to roll with Rico, too, because it is a hometown talent, man. So I'm, I'm always go for the home team, especially I don't know who this other guy is. So with that being said, man, I hope y'all like my Valentine's Day edition, man. I got a whole lot more coming, so stay tuned. Got my man. Tell him who he is again. Not like you need to. The example, Guns Up is the logo. Free my nigga JoJo Cartel, whole body gang. Man. I just did some other shit, too. I got a um, mixtape in the drop, um, the example.com. That's, that's in like a tribute to my website that I got the example.com. Okay. Then I got an album that's like halfway done. I'm I'm thinking about summertime. I'm gonna throw that out with like two or three videos and then I okay. just did a modeling shoot. Like I've been doing yeah, I saw a lot that. of shit. What's the uh who the videographer on that? Um the modeling. No, no, on your videos. Who doing your videos? Um probably Don't. I'll let you on a few. I'm a, I'm finna be all around the board actually I'm trying oh, okay. to I'm trying to work. Okay. I'm trying to work with So everybody. am I so am I. I mean you you see man, I mean honestly I, I ain't, I'm not biased against nobody. Only, look, I'm I'm focused on me right now. You yeah, know what I'm, I'm saying? I had, so, a, I had a lot of people in mind. Like I was thinking, like I'm gonna probably get T Glaze to do one or two. Okay. I'm gonna get um probably hit up Spark, see what he talking about. Hit up Doc Holiday. I was mm -hmm. gonna reach out to you. Then like with John, though, it was gonna be more of a. I was gonna go to John when I'm ready for my cinematic appearance. Like right, uh, right. Cause I'm a I got an idea in mind. It's kind of gonna be like a. Like a short film, right? So I'm a, I'm, I'm a kind of, I'm trying to put something together there. Just cause I've been around John so long, like I know John angles and capabilities and right. what he be doing and stuff. So I got some ideas that me and him probably been talking about for years. You know, right. I'm gonna probably try to put into play now. I've been messing with Doc Holiday a lot too lately. I've been going to his studio, bought a few beats and all that. And okay. Then I shot with Tall Tone on the beat, so cool, cool. I got some nice beats up. All right, all right. Well, y'all heard him, man. Make sure y'all be looking for that, man. For real, for real. And trust me, y'all already, y'all already know, man. I'm all, I'm already supporting. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with nobody. I don't do beefs. You know what I'm saying? No chill, no filter. TV as MC Ryan Ski, the OG. You know what I'm saying? So if there's anything you need, all you gotta do is holler at me. Y'all know the inbox, Aaron Big Ryan Ski. You know what I'm saying? Or you can comment below this here uh, video. I mean, anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Make sure y'all uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe, share. You know. Like, um, comment below, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I respond quickly, you know what I'm saying, ASAP. So, and you know, already know I'm doing sub for sub. So, I mean, if y'all got YouTube channels, man, hit me and I'll hit you right back. You know what I'm talking about? So, oh, yeah, be on the lookout for that recap this because the battle in like two, three days. So, it's yeah. going to be a recap following this. And most definitely, definitely look out for that. I and it's going to be, gonna be lying. So and it's going to be, here. and it's going to be no chill, no filter. Okay. In real life, you shouldn't have been too. Yeah, 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 I'll be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to be in the house. Um, so, once again, man, this is Big Homie MC Ryan Ski, the OG, with my man, the example, guns up. Say the rest. Cartel, body gang. That's what's up, man. Look, once again, man, y'all already know how I feel about feelings around here, man. Keep them to yourself. I understand today Valentine's Day, man, but can somebody explain to me what that is? I ain't got enough time. Don't care. So, with that being said, man, this is Big Homie MC Ron Ski, the OG. There's no chill, no filter TV, and we have.